John in the in the book um, Gospel, one mm -hmm. sentence says that if a person becomes realized, it uplifts their ancestors. And I've always wondered about that. I was thinking of writing, <laughs> writing Maharaj that question. Do you know anything about how it could possibly help? Because your idea and belief about the ancestors being separate and apart from would disappear. You know, you are not body, you are not body, you're not going to remain body. All of this is directed towards that formless presence that you're the knower of. You're a knower, formless knower. This sense of presence is felt through body form. So if you know yourself in a real sense, automatically your whole lineage of family you know is just the five elements conglomerated and, and means nothing but to you, the them? formless presence. How does that help them wherever they are? Because they don't, they are not, just like you are not. You are not. The, the ideas and beliefs you're holding about yourself as a person are not true. You're like sky. So if it says, if sky comes to know itself, that all the little clouds will automatically realize it, it, your, your family lineage is, is in a dream. So when you know yourself in a real sense, of course it's going to benefit all your relatives and lineage and all of that because they are not. And you're going to know this. When you know yourself in a real sense, all the form disappears. You're no longer attracted to form, nor are you able to believe the thoughts you know, when the mind presents these things to you and says, this is the reality, you know, it, it can't be because all of this appears upon spontaneous presence. All of these people that I believe were grandma and grandpa and all this kind of stuff were just the one selfless self that I am in various different forms that are appearing on my spontaneous presence and are for I'm formless. So none of this matters at all. None, none of this is. It's going to break the concept of the fact that you have specific genetics and are born in a family and all this kind of stuff. Like I see, I saw an ad for, I think it was Ancestry.com, which I kind of had to chuckle because this lady, she said, you know, I found out that I was 15% Nigerian. So I went out and I bought the Nigerian headgear and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was so <laughs> proud of my Nigerian heritage. But five minutes before that, she had no idea. <laughs> So, 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 so what is that? It's <laughs> concepts and beliefs and concepts because I am somebody else desperately wants to grab, you know, that, that, that sense of, of a, a, because you know you're not. You, the selfless self, know that this appearance on your spontaneous presence is a transient thing. It's, it's illusory. It came out of nothing. It dissolves within nothing. But the ideas and beliefs you're holding about yourself in body form because you want that body form to keep existing so that you feel you can keep existing, you need additional concepts to try and keep the reality of the falseness. Because the false is false. That's why if right now every thought that came to you is going to come to you in form because the mind only knows form and yet you are formless. And through the meditation, through the Nam Mantra, through remaining with yourself with self, you start to get that sense. You'll feel that sense of presence. And that sense of presence is formless. So all forms are appearing on that spontaneous presence, but thoughts that are created specifically for a form make no sense. They're easily discarded. Every thought about form is discarded because you know yourself in a real sense, your form. You do your job, do your duties in the moment, but you have no expectations, nor desires, nor anything, because it's a form thing. You remain with your own selfless self, be with you always, as Maharaj says. So your question about Das Bode saying that your, your whole, it will affect your whole entire family, yes, because they are not. When you know yourself in a real sense, none of this world will appeal to you at all. You'll still do things, you'll still have things and all this, but it just, it, it loses everything. It, 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 it just loses it. And when there is an attraction, that's when you use mantra to remain with your selfless self, because that mind presents ideas and thoughts in form. 
It o- watch your mind. It only presents in form because the mind is actually a form of sorts appearing on with the body on the spontaneous presence that you are. So it can only present form and yet you are formless. So how can the mind present anything that would be of any interest to you?